All right, so welcome back once again. Ban from Mems Gaming Series here today, bringing you another YouTube video. And today we're going to be returning to the norm, bringing you guys a tutorial video. And uh, this is something I've done before this, but it's uh, quite outdated. I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, make a Minecraft server for 1.9. The new update just came out. I'm going to be honest with you, uh, I don't know if I like it or not. You guys leave your opinion down in the comments. Um, so the this is relatively simple, much simpler than the... Um, 1.8 and 1.7 versions. What you're gonna want to search up is git spigot, and this is gonna come up right here. First link. Make sure you click git 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 spigot 1.9, and then right here it's gonna show spigot 1.9 or spigot, however you say it, and bucket 1.9. Now, um, Sphere is, of course, you know, the more dynamic thing. It allows all for all those plugins you see in, like, hub servers, um, game modes. More things are more, more plugins, I guess, are more applicable to towards it. Um, and Bucket is just Bucket. So, I'm going to show you guys Bucket this video, and, uh, Spigot is the same thing. I guess I'll make another video for that, too. I don't think I really need to. Hell, I'll just do them both this video. Um, so the... What you're going to do is download craft bucket 1.9.jar And there will be, for those of you that don't want to go through these steps There's going to be a download link to a pre-made server in the description um, You're going to wait for that to download I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull this from one of my other servers You're going to need a, a start.bat And I'll just leave a download link to this by itself in the description um, So I'm going to go ahead and paste it in here And the way that you change, uh, this is how you change the amount of RAM dedicated to this server this is how you change um, what jar you want it to launch, and for this, we're going to change it to Craft Bucket. So, um, and this right here is RAM. This is one gigabyte of RAM. Um, this is the smallest amount of RAM that the server can have out, like, can use at one time in the maximum row. So there's constantly one gig allocated. Now, if I were to do this, sometimes the server can dip down below five, like to 512 megabytes instead of just a gig. Therefore, it's not actually, you know, using a full gig of RAM. Um, now, what you want to do if you want to up this to, let's say, 2 gigs, is just multiply it, like, 1,024 times 2 times 3 times, you know, 4, etc. Um, I guess I'll put 2 on here for this. And I get the way to check how much RAM you have, you're going to type in DX, DIAG, DX, DIAG, down here in uh, Windows. Um... That'll launch, and it's gonna say right here, memory. I have six gigabytes. You can tell just by the first number, usually that you have like eight or sixteen, and more than likely you're either gonna have four, six, eight, or sixteen in your computer. Um, and I'm gonna guess the more likely ones are six or eight, or eight or four. Six is a weird number for some reason. Anyways, uh, that's really the most complicated part of it, besides port forwarding. I will be showing you guys how to do that in this video too. So we're just gonna rename this to craft bucket. And then we're gonna do this. We're gonna start the start.bat. It doesn't say dot bat guys, don't worry. But it, it works. Now you're gonna wait for it to start. It'll take a second because it has to create, you know, the config file, the world. Um, and you also have to accept the EULA file right here. Just edit it or open it. You can just double click to open it and you're gonna change this to true. Save it. And you're gonna open this up. Let it go through the uh, process of starting the server. And while it does that, I'm going to show you guys where you can get plugins for this. So you go plugins, um, bucket. Just search that on Google, and bucket plugins should be the first thing that comes up. See, ignore. You guys might get an error in your console. Just ignore it. That's because there, it's missing. Um, see, banned players. That's all it was. It was missing things. But right here, um, use the most recently updated plugins for 1.9. Make sure you don't download a 1.8 plugin or you might get some kind of error. Um, I'm not going to include any plugins in here because I don't want anybody to think I'm putting viruses on the server. But I will... What the hell is my cat doing? <laughs> I will leave a link to this as well in the descriptions. The descriptions, oh man. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys how to port forward. Now this, to some people, is really just the most confusing part of this. Um, once this starts up, unless you want to get on right away and you already know how to port forward, just type stop. Stop the server. Then, you're going to go ahead and type in cmd and 
start, or the Windows thing, or even in run, you can type in CMD, and it'll start the command prompt. That's all you need. And then you're gonna type IP <laughs> just IP config. And you're gonna press enter. Now, if you down here, if you're connected wirelessly, um, like me, uh, you're just gonna see the five bars here. If you're connected through Ethernet, you're just gonna see, uh, I don't even remember, it's like gonna be a little computer monitor almost. Um, if you see the Ethernet, you're gonna look at this, there, there, there will be an IPv4, uh, IPv4 address up here you would look at, and I believe it would be something like this, but if you're connected wirelessly like me, you're gonna go ahead and look at the wireless LAN um, adapter wireless network connection, and you're gonna look for the IPv4 address right here. Uh, I don't know where it would be listed on your guys, it might look different from mine, but make sure you look at this, and you're also gonna look at your default gateway. Make sure to look at this number, not the long number. Now what you wanna do with that default gateway is type it in on your browser. And this might be different for some people, everybody's default gateway won't be the same as mine because I have Comcast. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that and it's gonna take me to the login page. Now generic, everybody's generic username and password is usually admin and password. If it's not, check on your modem or router, it might be on there. And if you don't know what, ask your parents or call your service provider. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Um, I'm gonna do that, so I don't have to do that every time. Now, if you have Xfinity like me or anything, usually it's under the advanced settings. And if not, look for port 4 or port 40, however it's listed. Now, mine is a little testy, and I know mine is already port forwarded, and it's gonna give me an error. It won't give you guys an error. I just get an error because mine is a little weird. Now, here's where um your server config file comes in. It's gonna be server right here. Open that up, and here are the settings for your server. This right here is the port, the default port you're gonna have it open to. So usually that's the one you're gonna wanna port forward it to. Um, if you have like, if you know what you're doing and you just wanted to maybe open another server, and you should know what you're doing. Just change the port. And you port forward that port. Now let's go ahead and get into this service name. Let's say Minecraft. Oh, sorry, I got distracted. Minecraft. So video. Um, now the IP address that you're going to port for it will be, where did my command prompt go, will be this IPv4 right here under wireless NAN or wireless, wireless LAN or if you have Ethernet you're going to use the Ethernet one like I said. So we're going to go ahead and type this in. Mine is uh, 10.0.0176 and then start port 255.65.255.65. Now this is already port forwarded for me, as I said, I'll get an error, but you guys won't. So once you're done with that, it's going to pop up, it's going to show a list here, once again, mine is buggy, so you can't see any of them. But after you do that, you're going to go ahead and you're good to go to start your server. Um, other players can join, but you're going to need to give them a different IP from what you just port forwarded. So you're going to go to whatismyip.com, and you're going to look, oh man. That's great. Um, there will be a regular IP address for you guys, hopefully here. Um, or you can check out IP Chicken. That website doesn't work. Um, yeah, right here, guys. Check out IP Chicken. What is my IP? Doesn't really always work all the time. And you're gonna give this IP right here, not mine, but uh, the IP that comes up here for you guys to your friends. And once you give them that, they can join your server. It's really that simple. Um, nothing too complicated. Once again, I'll leave again. Uh, huh. Once again, I'll leave a link in the description to download the plugins to what is my IP. Um, spigot, uh, get spigot, and um, I just want to go ahead and tell you guys, I'm not going to do the spigot thing in this because it's literally the same exact thing. Nothing different, um, except for the fact you have to look up spigot plugins on YouTube. I mean set of uh, bucket plugins and it should come up the same way like right here uh, resources it'll be the second link I'll just leave this all down in the description guys thank you for watching if you have any questions um, ask down below and I'll see you guys next time peace out